Uh, thank you very much, Dora, for the invitation. It's uh, an honor to be invited and to present uh, the French repository uh, ACTA is currently managing uh, in France. Um, so just an introduction, I'm Adrien Guichawa, I'm a Director of European Affairs uh, for the French Technical Institute who represents the applied research level uh, in France. So uh, here I will introduce you to two uh, repositories uh, that have been uh, created uh, like uh, between 12 uh, and 5 years ago. And uh, I will first introduce you to RD Agri uh, platform. So uh, this platform uh, means research and development or research and innovation, uh, more or less. And uh, so it has been created, it has been initiated, the idea, the first idea has been initiated uh, 10 years ago in 2014. Uh, and the aim was to put all the deliverable, uh, all the production, all the results of the project funded by the National Programme for Agriculture and Rural Development uh, online to make it accessible uh, for all practitioners, all scientists, and so on. Uh, so it's a project led by the Ministry of Agriculture, uh, but an uh, ACTA is your operational partner, and there is also the Chamber of Agriculture and other uh, on our other farmer organization and with the IT host who is our spin-off. And uh, so the, um, the platform has been launched in 2019. So when we started to, 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 to share inputs uh, on the platform. Uh, so the objectives of this platform are to capitalize. So as I said, centralize all result of project and deliverable. So these are the name of the kind of project, CASDAR, GIEE, ECOFITO, and so on and so on. So all the project funded by the Ministry of Agriculture basically and some Ministry of Research also, but dealing with agriculture are expected or are obliged to put their, uh, their output on the platform. So of course to valorize to provide a broad overview of what is being done in terms of project deliverable and with some key targets from farmer, advisor, teacher, and any any staff working in research and innovation project and with a free access to all uh, this information. Um, so uh, we reference uh, all agriculture projects. So here you see a uh, different kind of project. So there is the project per se, uh, there is also some program and specific action because the Chamber of Agriculture, the Technical Institute and other farmer group have national funding to also to uh, carry out research and innovation and development programs. So also their deliverable are expected uh, to be put uh, on, the on the platform. And there is also some stakeholder groups uh, that are funded uh, and really farmer-based group funded uh, by the Ministry of Agriculture that have to put their all tangible deliverable online. Uh, so it's a one-stop shop to access all data produced by this national project. And uh, with, uh, it's quite simple, uh, you've got a project tab, so you can search by project. Uh, you've got a document tab, so you can search by keywords and, uh, and, and other aspects, uh, also geographic, uh, geographic um, scope, uh, because as you know, France is quite a, a big country in Europe and, and it's quite different from one region to another one. And so you've got different filters to search by region, thematic area, production sector, uh, date of deliverable, and so on. Publishing information on the platform. So uh, basically, uh, in this year, 56% uh, of the contributor were uh, the Chamber of Agriculture, 39% were the Technical Institute of Acta Network, and you see that other, it's only 5% by few other actors uh, that load and uh, upload uh, the deliverable online. And so in terms of contribution, uh, with different way. So we, the ministry really wanted and the stakeholder really wanted to have a diversified way to load uh, the input. So there is manual input. A anybody has back office code, enter deliverable using a, a classical form. And uh, the added value is that the people are autonomous, but it allowed 
to low to load a low volume of deliverable because it's unmade. Uh, there is a second option to import C CSV files. So people uh, complete their CSV file automatically by their own, and they send it to to my team in Acta for import, and or and then it's to automatically automatically load uh, into the portal. So we can add in mass data with easy export from existing site and database, and so on. And uh, the last option is automated flow uh, from uh, other database. Uh, so I'm not specialist, but there is a, with of this acronym, but <laughs> it's different system related to database. And you can, as far as your database is uploaded, uploaded you can choose uh, a frequency of update and it's updated, uh, or, uh, updated automatically on the ARED uh, portal. Uh, so it saves time for the team. There is massive data imported and there is real time uh, update uh, based on the database of the different actors. Some key figures, there is 4,000 projects identified already, uh, more than 27,000 uh, online documents available. And uh, in 2023, uh, the, um, let's say the key figure were more uh, than 16,000 users and more than 60 page view. So that's it for RAD Agri. The other one, uh, the other portal is Ecofito Peak Portal. So Ecofito is the national action plan, uh, the French national action plan for pesticide use reductions that have been launched in 2008. And uh, so the, the ministry, again, the Ministry of Agriculture really wanted to uh, put all practical information produced by any project, any organization uh, in France uh, to uh, on integrated pest management, specifically, so pesticide use reduction, uh, to have a, a one-stop shop for all resources uh, created uh, in France and Europe. Uh, so to 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 have all, all the information in a single stop shop. So it has been created in um, 2012, so 12 years ago already, and it's coordinated also by ACTA, but still in cooperation with a lot of stakeholders. So what for? Uh, it's You can find about low uh, phytosanitary practices, uh, regulation, uh, feedback from farmers about practices, and also all the advances in research. And you can find high PM level, how we call them, so individual or systemic or analytic techniques, regulatory text, uh, identification of pests, call for tender, research project, plant test bulletin, we'll speak about it, and any books or any uh, literature on IPM uh, from science to practice. So uh, it's a repository to expand your knowledge on uh, integrated pest management. As I said, there is individual uh, lever, IPM lever, so a quick overview on the certain techniques apply in a given context and with some potential other link for more comprehensive data resources and so on. There is some technical summaries and technical dossiers that are created by Ecofitopic team. So on a certain uh, topic, so I will introduce another one on glyphosate, for example, as they all uh, resources are, are gathered and there is specific summary and technical article uh, on a certain topic. And also by sector, because farmers are also working and functioning per sector. So the so technical uh, institutes that are organized by sector also uh, write some technical sectorial dossier. Um, there is also the identification sheet for pest and biocontrol agent to identify natural enemy pest and climate accidents. So a database that contains many information for the identification uh, of, uh, of pest uh, pathogen and also biocontrol agent. And there is a plant health bulletin, which is a monitoring system where in each region, uh, there is people going in the field and inventorying and monitoring uh, the level of pest in each region. And on a monthly basis, there is a bulletin in this region, there is this level of pest and pathogen. And so it's gathered on monthly basis and available on, on the portal. There is also a lot of uh, things related to pesticide on new, news and regulation. So because the regulation move quite fast at EU level as well as national level, there is all the text, all the 
uh, intelligible uh, information so to support farmer and any people advisor technician of cooperative and so on uh, to be up to date with the regulation uh, there is also inventory of technical tools uh, all any technical tools produced by farmer by uh, any project or, or any organization that are organized uh, upon four categories decision support tools Diagnostic, diagnostic tools, information tools, and network tools. And last but not least, there is also a, a fund, the CEPP scheme, uh, which is uh, in short a certificate uh, that is required for farmers to show that they save uh, plant protection product and to show that there is a reduction of use of plant protection product and there is certification and also all information process uh, potential training are also inventory and put available on a regular basis. We've got also linked to the ECOFITO uh, policy in France. We've got two networks. Uh, we've got uh, on the uh, on the right DFI space or some experimental station uh, that are experimenting different solution uh, to reduce the use of pesticide, and DFI Farm, which is a network of farm managed by the Chamber of Agriculture and with farmers that are also implementing best practices in reducing pesticide use and all the results of uh, this uh, experimental station and farm are also available. So we've got a map here. Uh, you can see where there is some farms, where there is some experimental station working in this area. And of course, from this farm and experimental station, there is some uh, fact sheet videos, good practices, how to support and animate farmer groups, a combination of flavor, there is some webinars, there is some video and farmer testimonies. So everything which is produced by this farm, uh, experimental or, or real farm, commercial farm is inventory also in, in the platform. So to have real life experience and feedback from, from the farmer and experimental station. As I said, uh, there is some specific uh, built out of a specific uh, dossier on technical topic. Here I put a uh, different one on glyphosate and managing weeds that uh, there is 100 technical resources uh, updated by 20 experts from technical institutes, INRAE, uh, Chamber of Agriculture that all together try to, to make a synthesis and a summary of all the production of the solutions that have been uh, put into practice and inventorized from research to practice. And another example on reducing the use of copper in viticulture uh, with quite a lot of, fa of fact check, uh, DSS, resistant variety, and also produced by the Chamber of Agriculture and the Technical Institute on, uh, on wine. Uh, so it's a site with a large number of contributors. Uh, as I said, there is the Technical Institute that are uh, specialized by sector and that are technical, so that put all technical resources and solutions uh, in, in the portal. I mentioned the DEFI Farm uh, Network Engineer also managed by the Chamber of Agriculture that put a lot of resources as the experimenters that come from INRAE and come from the Technical Institute that come from the Chamber of Agriculture also put their results. And all research and innovation projects in this area at French level or EU level are also putting uh, their deliverables. So whenever a French uh, actor is participating to an EU project working on IPM, most of the deliverables are translated in French and put also available uh, in, in the portal. So uh, it's not only French results, but also EU results as uh, that we translate, we make the effort to translate and to put everything on the portal. So there is a daily update. Uh, because there is a team of few, two, three people working on it. Uh, more than 400 contributors, individual uh, organization contributing to, 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 uh, to, to filling uh, the portal. Uh, more than uh, 6,000 resources, <clears throat> so 6,000 individual document deliverable and so on. And uh, more than 15,000 monthly visit, uh, which is uh, quite a, 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 a good figure. Uh, if you accumulate it on an annual basis, uh, it, it's quite impressive. It's more than uh, 150,000 uh, individual visits a year. Uh, 
So of course, <clears throat> there is a social, uh, there is a portal itself. Uh, there is a newsletter, La Lettre Pic, uh, who summarizes all the progress and all the last deliverable, and the social network and the YouTube video uh, with to automatically linked uh, with everything which is loaded on the portal. And it was my last slide. For further information, you can visit the Modern Acres website at modernacres.eu or do follow us on social media.